Howdy, 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 my beautiful darling Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, all right? See what's going on for you. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Aries, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know, all right? And then as well, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Aries, so you can get the full spectrum of what's going on in your life in specific, okay, darling? So let's just get right into this tarot reading here today for you, all right? So Aries, right off the bat, I'm noticing for you guys right now, it's like you're having to unpack some baggage with the social situation here, all right? I feel like for you guys, there's been like a situation that's been lingering over your head. There's someone that you've been having a lot of baggage with here. Perhaps you've been trying to make it work out with this situation, but it's always like this case of where they always find a way to sabotage is a good thing, right? There's always like a situation of where it's like, the moment you start having things start looking like it's going good, there always seems to be this devil situation that just gets thrown into the mix here, where it's just, it just complicates things, right? It's one of those things where I feel like you're asking yourself the question now, where it's just like, is this situation even worth it, right? Is this person worth this, uh, all this drama, all this stress? Is this job worth all these problems that occur right because page of, cups can cover opportunities as well and not everyone's dealing with the social situation right and i see for you guys as well aries you guys have been in this place of trying to get out of your head all right it's almost as if like for some of y'all you have been so mean to yourself darling so so mean to yourself it's like you guys just find you look in the mirror and you find 50 different things that you don't like about yourself yourself and so then every, all these plans that you had that you wanted to create that you wanted to do maybe you wanted to post on social media be a, be a content creator darling join the club right um you have these things that just sit in your head and then just really disencourage you discourage you from wanting to create anymore i kind of get this sneaking suspicion as well aries that this is due to the fact of what we have going on in the top row here but because this five of swords energy is in the main focal point of your spread here this is where i really want to be working on with you here it's just like we need to start identifying why it is that you have like this imposter syndrome why it is that you have this devil on your shoulders that is convincing you that you are not pretty enough that you're not talented enough or whatever it is that you are just not enough aries right and then in your final row here, continuing on in the sword narrative, darling, right? We have the Knight of Swords here with the Five of Pentacles, as well as the Nine of um, Swords coming in here, all right? <clears throat> it feels like you guys are in this process of really trying hard, all right? I want to give you guys credit here, darling. I see definitely not a, a lot of hard work um, being done on your side, trying to get things going. You'll wake up, right? And you start out really good here, right? You start out really positively. Maybe you start getting a lot of work done, feeling really productive. And then it just goes right back into the same pattern, uh, Aries, with this Five of Pentacles and Nine of Swords, where it's like you just go, it just goes back to the same root of the problem, Aries, of where you don't feel like you are enough. All right. And so we need to really start working on this here. This is like the moment you start over uh, overcoming this situation here, Aries. Oh, my God. The world's going to be your oyster. All right. The world's absolutely going to be your oyster. OK, I do see a potential for you guys, Aries, to be meeting some new people that really give you this new spark, um, this new motivation. I would even kind of be saying, Aries, that um, part of what will give you the confidence is get, again is by removing this devil situation that gives you all this baggage, right? Removing the devil situation that gives you all this baggage and start replacing it with this new energy coming in, right? Because pages do talk about new energies stepping forward to you, all right? And so what I do see for you guys here, even with new opportunities coming in here, you'll still fall into the same pattern of where you start telling yourself that you're not good enough, right? This really just goes into that um, imposter syndrome again here, Aries, all right? You have such a strong ability of really um, just overall manifesting, but I just see such a heaviness with you guys here, Aries, all right? I even want to be saying that you guys would really benefit from doing some type of cord cutting, all right? Because I'm noticing just this pattern of just some type of like 
I mean, really, not some type of energy, darling. It's this devil here. Like, there's somehow, this devil just has its grasps in your energetic field. And so I would feel like you would really benefit from some cord cutting here. Funnily enough, darling, all right? I am always a big, big advocate of black tourmaline, okay? Black tourmaline is a very cheap stone. Don't ever overpay for it. I think I paid, like, less than $20 for this big chunk. You can get black tourmaline for really cheap areas, all right? Something to protect your energy. This kind of, I like to see black tourmaline as, like, a um, magic magnet absorbing any type of negative energy sent your way and what have you you really want to start addressing things from an energetic level here because i think that's what's really going on here aries is like you start really going forward with your uh, the things that you are wanting to accomplish and then it's just like this toxic energy that finds its way seeping through it seeping in and it's just like it just ruins everything that you start touching it ruins everything that you start wanting to uh delve into here all right aries and so let's start clarifying all this here for you, you know, so I'm not here to just project to you Aries what it is your spiritual practice should be, but you all would really benefit from some type of some type of cleanse. All right. I think I'll even offer for you guys Aries, um, I'll do a cleansing ritual for you guys. I do this for my zodiac signs when I feel like they need it. Um, so this coming Sunday, um, it'll be the first Sunday of June. All right. That I'll be performing the ritual. So if you just want to be included in the cleansing ritual, Aries, obviously it's completely free dialing, but just comment um, that you want to participate. I don't need anything else besides your permission. And I'll just write down your username. So I don't need you to share any private information that you're not comfortable with. All right. So um, only if you feel called to it, darling. All right. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you don't want to participate. Um, so we have the Wheel of Fortune coming in here. All right, Aries, the Wheel of Fortune. Times are changing for you. All right, time, things are definitely going to start improving for you in the coming days. The Priestess coming in here. All right. Definitely, I always say the Priestess has a spiritual force to her, a spiritual connection. So, and then Ace of Wands coming in here. All right, so Aries, going, like, this is really just starting to turn into a spiritual reading here, but I feel as if some of y'all are having some type of spiritual force reaching out to you, some type of calling, whether this is an ancestor, a new spirit guide that to connect with an, or an archangel here, there's something that is calling out to you wanting to help, all right? And that makes a lot of sense here. It feels as if they wanna help break the patterns, the karmic cycles that you have with certain type of people. Cause I feel like uh, for many of you Aries, you always seem to attract a certain type of person, right? That just always gets in your head there and so from a spiritual level you have your, someone on your spiritual team trying to make themselves more pronounced uh aries to connect with you and to assist you on this journey here all right so you can start making more space back for this new opportunities that are trying to come forward to you so just know if you're really wanting to fast track this all right just ask your spiritual team it's going to be very unique to each of you guys so i don't want to tell you how you need because all of you guys have come from different beliefs right but just know that there's some type of otherworldly force trying to help you out trying to clean space and so start considering that all right and then let's get into uh the second row here <clears throat> so we also have the ace of wands coming in the second ace stepping forward the ten of cups as well as the six of cups coming in here this is talking about a breakthrough, about a current situation of someone that you have a lot of history with here, Aries, all right? This is somebody that you definitely like, probably like family, all right? Family, close friend, maybe even someone that you're married to or in a loving relationship with. I see a breakthrough for you guys this week when it comes to that relationship, all right? It feels as if you guys have been mirroring one another for a long time now. And it's like you have, like y'all have been trying to address some type of elephant in the room, but but it's like you guys are always been communicating on like two different wavelengths where it's like the intention is there, right? Y'all both want to have this relationship work out, this connection work out. But um, whatever the case is here, you know, you both are just in this place of being so in your head, stressing out, stressing out about what the other person is thinking and feeling um, that like it just has made it seemingly impossible for a long time now. But I do definitely see you guys going to be able to start like a completely uh, starting a clean slate and having that breakthrough so you guys can really go back to having that loving relationship that you guys have whether that's platonic or romantic right and let's get into your third row here 
We have here the Magician Energy, the King of Rings, as well as the Five of Cups coming in here. Aries, I want you to write down the number five because I'm not like I was noticing it initially, but I didn't say it at the time. But now that you have another five coming in here, I'm feeling really called to suggesting to that number five has some type of message for you, some type of spiritual message. So be sure to look that up in numerology. All right, darling. I see for you guys right now, you guys are not seeing your potential and what it is that you could create, uh, Aries. And I think that's also due to the fact of what we talked about beforehand with that imposter syndrome, with the people that you surround yourself with. But it's like you guys, Aries, are very much so capable of creating a very successful business of being able to have your own finances, being able to have your own home. It feels like some of you guys, Aries, are really considering uh, moving places, putting your roots into somewhere. All right. You guys have a very strong ability and being able to tap into your manifesting abilities <laughs> take a shot every time i say ability darling please don't but um it's like untapped power untapped power is what i get with this and i feel like for those again going back to the spiritual aspect darling but i mean come on you don't watch my tarot channel just for tarot darling right you y'all already kind of know on some level that i'm pretty eccentric right um i feel like on a spiritual level all right someone there's the spiritual force that is trying to wake you up to your true power as well not only cleaning house but waking you up to your potential here aries and so you guys need to start being more open to that all right if you are wanting to all right but it's just like there's so much untapped potential that you guys have going on here aries that it would truly be a waste if you choose to continue not seeing that and i think it's due to the fact where just like some of you guys might be like well valka like i've tried to start my own business i've tried to do things beforehand and it's always just been left out and like it's always been unsuccessful right with this five of pentacles like i do see the sense of insecurity for some of you guys but I'm going to sit here and question and challenge you guys on that areas, right? Because that's the whole purpose of tarot readings on here. When you receive them from me, darling, I'm going to challenge your perspective. I'm not going to just tell you what you want, what it is that you want to hear. But I see you guys being so in your head, Aries. And I think it might be due to the fact where it's just like when you feel productive and things are going good, you will do like... 30 steps forward you're a hustler right but the knight of swords is like you'll take 10 steps forward when they're in a good mood but 30 steps back when they're not doing so good and so what i kind of suspect for some of you guys is that aries you might be a little bit impatient with how some things are or it's like the first sign of like a bump on the road you get so discouraged and you're just like all right like i need to just throw in the towel and what have you but aries that's not how you want to approach things all right obviously we're all adults here you get you kind of get the point from there so i don't need to sit here preaching on you but um a lot of untapped potential here and if you don't have that confidence through yourself allow me to give you help give you that confidence as well as your spiritual team so um aries this is what i got going on for you this week all right honey so hopefully this tier reading resonated with some of you guys on some level all right if you this did resonate i be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and book a tarot reading by me all right simply Valkyrie. Dot com. Be sure to follow my social medias as well, uh, Aries. Um, Simply Velka um, on TikTok as well as Instagram. Same as here, darling. But until next time, Aries, I love you so much, darling. Bye.